Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Keith and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. Today I'm going to show you how to reset an automatic timing belt tensioner. And this timing belt tensioner here is used on a myriad of vehicles. This particular one came off of a Honda, but the style is used on a myriad of vehicles and this applies to a wide range of vehicles out there. So it's a very common design here and this will help a lot of people. Always verify this in your repair manual. Okay, from the get-go here, you can see you got some holes here, one in the plunger and one in the housing here, and there's a corresponding hole on the uh, housing on the back side. So we got to push this plunger in until we get these holes lined up. Now a lot of folks use a vise for this, but if you don't have a vise, you can use a C-clamp, such as the one you see here. So we're just going to go ahead and take our C-clamp and uh, try to get it out. Let's see here. There we go. Just put it right over the tensioner like that. And once you make contact, it'll kind of hold the uh, tensioner in place. We're just going to go ahead and screw it down until those holes align. And we're going to do this very slowly. There's no hurry to this. And it looks like we might have it lined up. So what we can do, just take a simple cotter pin, put it in that hole there. That's going to lock the plunger into the housing. And you want to make sure it comes through the other side. And it's not coming out the other side yet, so we're going to, looks like we need to go in just a little bit more. There we go. So it's out the other side now. Now we can release our C-clamp. There we go. We have our plunger set. And uh, you can see here that cotter pin's not that strong. Uh, it's kind of bending up a little bit there. You may want to get something a little bit more sturdy for this. Now if you are replacing your tensioner, you may have tried to put your timer belt on and found out that you had to reset it or uh, reset the timing on it and you had to take your tensioner off and reset the tensioner you can just use the grenade pin that comes with the auto tensioner and that's plenty strong enough to hold that plunger in place there but uh, you get the general gist of it this cotter pin as you can see is not strong enough just get you a, uh, a piece of metal that's sturdy enough to hold the plunger down also guys you can see that this is an old auto tensioner um, if you're replacing your timing belt or doing a water pump or whatever, uh, typically you got over 60,000 miles on your vehicle, maybe even close to 100, whatever the interval is to uh, service those parts. With the wear and tear and the age, I think it's a good idea to go ahead and replace it. So it would be my suggestion to go ahead and replace it just to be safe. But as I said, sometimes if you're, if you're replacing this and you got your new one and you put your timing belt on and you find out after the fact that uh, you got it a tooth or two off, well, then you need to know how to reset it, and this video is for that purpose there. So whether you're re replacing it or reusing it, uh, this video will help in uh, resetting your auto tensioner. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Please uh, like and subscribe. As always, read the entire description down below this video before you apply any of this knowledge. And thank you again.